Virgo, this is your reading for June 2019. Somebody had asked me if I had done this reading and I did not. I didn't get to all the signs for June this month, but since it was requested, I'm going to go ahead and do it for you. So, um, I pulled six cards and today is, what is today? I think today is June 23rd, so we have about another week left in the month of June. So for Virgo, the first card that I pulled was the Ten of Cups. And I pulled all these cards from my combined three decks. I've got the Before Tarot, the After Tarot, and the Regular Tarot. So the Ten of Cups in this scenario is right before the rainbow comes out. But you can see that everybody's running in the rain trying to get out of the rain. So I think what this is saying is that you're really close to achieving some sort of happiness and emotional fulfillment and also a completion of some kind. This is like what I call the hap happily ever after card. So right now you might not be feeling that, you know, since you could see the rain. It's almost like, it looks like. I get the impression of somebody raining on your parade, like you're about to have the culmination of your heart's desire fulfilled, and somebody's like, oh, but what about this? You know, trying to point out some sort of a negative for whatever this situation is for you. So, I think that the message here is just tune those people out, <laughs> or person or people out who are trying to rain on your parade. And just you stay focused on the positive and whatever your goal is in this situation. The Ten of Cups is about emotions and emotional fulfillment. So it's more than likely concerning either your family or relationship. The card that clarified this was the Page of Pentacles. So this is before the page is about to bring you his news. He's a messenger and this is about some sort of financial news. So somebody might be either texting you or calling you or emailing you about, it could be anything, but it's more than likely some sort of financial offer. So it could be a job opportunity or it could be something like an inheritance. It could be something of value, not just money in and of itself but it could be something like a ring or a house or a car or whatever so something some kind of news surrounding this and the next card that I pulled was the eight of wands and this is a card of really quick communication um, it's also what I call Cupid's arrows so if it's referring to your love life then that's also communication about love and passion. So I see a lot of communication coming in for you about money and also possibly about romance or passion. I think that whatever this news is that you're going to get is going to transform the situation for you. Um, maybe it's going to put something to rest that you've been struggling with for a while. Because the next card that you got was the Eight of Swords. And this is the after deck. So you have been kind of up in your head, stressed out and worried about something, feeling like you're stuck in a situation. But you were always able to kind of pull yourself out of it. It was a prison of your own making. So it wasn't like it was real. It was more just like an imagined... Um, blockage or limit you know you're feeling limited in some way and this person has come along to say hey you know you can get out of this yourself but if you need a hand I'm happy to help you so this might be your significant other or somebody else that is important in your life who is coming along to kind of help you through this difficult time and when this happens, you're going to find the internal strength that you need. Um, the strength card isn't about physical strength. It's about willpower, mental tenacity, um, 
So I think by the end of June, you're going to be feeling a lot freer mentally. You won't be feeling so bogged down by whatever has been on your mind lately. And you're going to feel like you're able to kind of get in the driver's seat again of your own mind. Take back your own thoughts and not be so consumed or ruled by whatever these worries have been. So yeah, overall it looks like it's going to be a really good end of June. Everything's going to wrap up nicely and I will be doing your next six month reading hopefully by July 1st, and as soon as I get those up, then I'll do the July monthlies for you guys. So, thank you for watching.